Pinpoint Weather 12, a severe weather alert. Well, I've got some updated wind gust uh, amounts here looking at Connecticut light 77 miles per hour for the highest gust that I can find looking at Block Island 72 miles per hour, Westerly 66, New Bedford 63 and TF Green 52 miles per hour. Those are some of the latest wind gusts that I could find. Radar, the heaviest rain continues to push on through. Uh, lighter rains expected to continue, but we're already seeing some areas of flooding, uh, some areas over two and a half inches of rain once again. And unfortunately, this is just rain that we do not need. And of course, we're still watching the rivers and that coastal flood threat as well. So here's the wide view of our storm system. You can see the cold and snowy side across the Great Lakes, and we are on the rain and windy side of things as you can see us here in southern New England. So again, the rain will be winding down over the next hour or so and we'll be seeing the winds also slowly subside throughout the day, but still very gusty out there for the most part across the shoreline. East Greenwich behind me, raindrops on the lens here, looking at some gusty conditions as well. Again, this southeast wind very strong along the coastal regions. Temperatures rising into the 50s. We'll be in the 50s later on today. We'll even see some sunshine for the second half of today. Looking at our latest weather alert, flood warning issued for Kent County, Providence County as well. There's still a river flood warning for the Patuxet, by the way, and also river flood warning for the Taunton River, the Wood River and the Pawkatuck River as well. So a lot of red on the screen, but there are flood warnings uh, for both the rivers and just for aerial, uh, you know, for street and poor drainage flooding as well. Flood watch continues as well for up to about two and a half to even three inches of rain in some cases. You can see our wind advisory also remains in effect for coastal regions. Those gusts are high, as high as I said, up to about 70, 75 miles per hour in spots, especially where uh, you're, you know, really more exposed over the open area of near the water where the water, uh, where the wind can just kind of blow pretty freely without uh, having any kind of obstacles in the way. So coastal flood warning. That's our next topic to talk about because as we approach nine o'clock, that's the high tide cycle along, along the coastline. We've already been seeing the waves batter the shoreline in Narragansett and that's going to continue. So some minor to moderate coastal flooding and uh, beach erosion expected uh, over the next couple of hours as this continues uh, that with that onshore flow, with that southeast wind. So three key things, rain wind this morning, the rain will wind down over the next couple of hours. We'll see the wind staying gusty throughout the day. Then our attention turns to Sunday with some colder air expected and some snow squalls, and those could pack quite a punch in a short amount of time for the afternoon. We'll see that in just a second and overall a colder setup coming our way as a kind of a pattern change takes shape as we go into next week. So again, a lot to talk about. Let's dive right into it here. This is our storm system tracking north and east going to bring the rain with it, and we'll see those winds slowly subside through the day, but still very gusty pretty much all day long. Looking at our hour forecast, here's 815 pretty much uh, where we are right now. Looking at again, heaviest rain tracking north and east away from us. So we'll be seeing the rain end. We'll be seeing some gradual clearing, some drier conditions for today. The sunshine should peek through the clouds at some points during the afternoon hours. So that'll be a nice touch with the temperatures in the 50s. But then as we go into tonight into tomorrow, staying dry and quiet. And like I said, our attention turns to Sunday's forecast as we have a generally dry day for the first half. But then we're watching those snow showers expected for the afternoon. Take a look at this 1230 in the afternoon. Arctic front coming through, so some very cold air on the back side of this front. Clouds build in for the uh, middle part of the day. Watch as these snow showers and snow squalls pass on through. Notice uh, they get a little bit more uh, you know, intense here as they track on through. Some of these darker shades of purple and blue indicate potentially some heavier bursts of snow tracking through. These are the kind of things that last you know, 15 to 20 minutes. Think of it like kind of like a thunderstorm, but during the winter time, it's going to bring snow. So we'll be watching this closely for tomorrow because this tracks on through, you know, could put a coating of snow on the ground, could also give, you know, low visibility and of course some poor travel conditions during the afternoon. You don't want to be caught in one of these. If you do, you want to make sure you pull over and wait them out as they track on through. But something interesting to watch for our Sunday for sure. Here's that seven day forecast for you, though. Again, that's not the only chance of snow that we're tracking in the seven day forecast. Temperatures next week, much colder, certainly does support snow. Our next chance of a potential uh, more of a you know accumulating snow would be later Tuesday into Wednesday. Still watching that system. The models are kind of uh, you know going back and forth. So we'll be fine tuning that forecast as we have a few days to watch it. And then maybe another chance of snow later Friday into next weekend. So the active pattern does continue across southern New England. Of course, that full seven day forecast on our website WPRI.com. So Joe, there's a lot to talk about. We have the rain, the wind, the warm temperatures today, and then I'm talking snow, potentially you know snow squalls tomorrow. More snow chances next week. Cold air as well. There's just a lot going Dude, on. I wish we could get some consistency. I mean, yeah, like, it's all just, over the place. Weather whiplash. It's just going back and forth. And, you know, I guess it's a little bit for everyone. It is for everyone. And, hey, uh, we have another update, too, around the uh, two lanes that were blocked off on 95 near Atwell's Avenue and Broadway around there. They have been reopened. It seems like crews are working along the line. So mm -hmm. if you are driving out there this morning, watch out for those left lanes. 
or right lanes, vice versa, wherever you're, whichever direction you're traveling, but they are back open as of now. We'll have more updates in just a little bit. Up next on 12 News this morning, didn't take long.